Hey folks, welcome back to another video with yours truly, Sam Healy. This is going to be a little bit of a review video, uh, but it's not going to be for this game. This game is just going to be here keeping me company while I put this bad boy together. Now, as you can see here, this is a shrink-wrapped version, I believe a retail version, of Scythe. And uh, I have the Meeple Realty Scythe Factory that is here, and I'm going to be putting it together, and this is what I'm going to be able to review. But I thought I'd have a little bit of fun and uh, make this kind of a, a, a unboxing video of sorts, but not completely. You'll see what I mean. But uh, generally speaking, let's go ahead and get to this new idea that I have. Probably isn't new at all. So as you can see here, I have, like I said, a completely unopened box. I'm cracking open the uh, shrink wrap right now so we can get this done. And don't you love this stuff? It's like, wish they would make Fort Knox out of this stuff because usually it's really hard to get open. That was pretty easy though. So we we'll go ahead and throw that away. And so we go ahead and open up this box here. And as you can see, Rule books, player aids, correct reference guides, and so forth and so on. And we have all this stuff still in the punch board, as I said. Again, like I said, this is, oof, look at all that. Have all this stuff in here. That's pretty neat that it comes with this kind of stuff. And all of these guys here. And these little neat things as well. So, all right. We have all of this stuff that's in here, and wow, that, see this, this right here, this is what I'm talking about. This is what we're replacing, people. This is what Meeple Realty has put a lot of hard work into and redesigned so we can take this and go, whoop. So, let's go ahead to it. Well, most of these components are pretty much ready to be included other places. I mean, there are some things that we're gonna to have to put together and we'll get to those in just a few moments, like these guys right here, we need to get to those put together. But most of these components, they just need a home. They need some place to call home. And then there's also these guys, we gotta punch these guys out too. So we just go ahead and do that. Boom, 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 la la la. I'm going to leave these in shrink for right now because I don't want to have to deal with them. Uh, everything else is pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to dump all that in there. Yeah, looks like we're pretty much ready to uh, start putting everything together because um, all this other stuff is assembled and ready to go as far as I can tell. Um, now, I, I haven't ever opened a box of scythe. This is the first time that I've actually opened up my own little box. I got this at the, the gathering on the prize table. So, um, really neat. Um, these little punch boards are really cool. How they hold everything uh, in place and that type of stuff. I really like that. Love the artwork on them. Really great as well. So, yeah, this is just, a, I mean, a really cool game. I like it a lot already. Um, you guys have already known that. All this stuff, Scythe Automata, achievement sheets, reference guides, so forth, and so on. So, we are ready to go. We're going to turn all of this right here, all this mess, into something cool. So, let's get to it. And 
And so here we go. I am uh, digging into the Scythe factory compatible with Scythe from Meeple Realty. Uh, so it's basically going to have a little bit of a, you know, it gives you an idea of what it's going to be looking like here. Things to hold all of the different models, all of the different components, trays, all that kind of stuff. So uh, we're going to go ahead and open this up first. Let's see if I can get my finger in there. Arr! I am going to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Take it. All right, so we go ahead and get this guy open. Like so. Isn't shrink wrap great? I'm being facetious. I mean, it is great, don't get me wrong, but. All right, so that's just a placard telling you all the different stuff. Unnecessary. And we have some stuff that is taped to one of the pieces. So we gingerly remove that. And those look like wooden dowels. Interesting. That means I'm going to have to use those probably. Um, not looking forward to that. Okay, so we have all of these different things. I'm looking for instructions. Come on, guys. Instructions, instructions. There we go. That's what I'm wanting to see. And we have inspected by 22. All right, so they inspected everything. That's good. Page one, note. Pages six and seven are the most difficult parts of the assembly. Yeah. Uh, it is important that A is placed in the exact configuration above with the asterisk on the right there is an extra piece B. Great, that means they're expecting you to mess up. Recommended tools for assembly, hobby knife and hammer, sandpaper, tape, glue, wood glue or super glue. We suggest applying the glue at the joints to permanently hold the pieces together. All right, so let's get into this, shall we? I am foregoing using glue at this point. Maybe even, these, these are going in pretty tight. I don't think I need to worry about these, these guys coming out anytime soon. So I'm going to not use glue on them. We will be using glue later on though. I think this is pretty straightforward though. And there's a lot of snugness to these guys as well. So I don't think it's gonna be a problem at all. <clears throat> all right, so that's page one, easy. Moving along to page two. Oh no, that does not look easy.
And so after all of that, <laughs> quite frankly, hard work, we'll get to that in just a few moments though, uh, you have a finished product that quite frankly, you can be very proud of actually. So here's the board sits on top and it is uh, guided and not allowed to shift around too much by the top of the thing right here, as you can see. Um, and then you have the rule books and you have the uh, team tray here. And then you also have over here, you have all of the different uh, player boards and army cards and all of that good stuff over here. And then you have the rest of the components that are in there as well. This um, is holding actually two trays. There is one tray here. You actually pull this out and you have all of the components right there. Then you have all of the money and that type of stuff in there as well. So that's a pretty neat little contraption here. And this lid is not glued on. You just slide it back in like so. Then you also have this card tray over here. This is one of the ones that had uh, was pretty flimsy to put together, but after all, it's pretty rock solid. But you have all of the cards that are necessary here. And <clears throat> then you have this little guy. And this little guy was a booger, let me tell you. Because, as you can see over here, they actually have gears that work. And you see down here, when you pull this gate up, like so, it is allowing this to be moved up, like that. And on the other side, it does the same thing. So it actually locks down so that these two trays can be, if you put them back like so, make sure that they're in, you can actually hold this entire thing and it won't fall apart. But uh, when you undo it like so, <coughs> then, and you undo these last ones as well, then this part actually comes up and you have the rest of the components in there as well. And of course, as you can see here, there is room for the two expansions that are available, the invaders from afar or something to that effect. All right, so that is the component tray. And then you also have at the bottom here, places for you to hold the uh, combat uh, power car, po power dials, I think they're is what they're called. And so then when you put everything back in, it is pretty straightforward. Everything just goes in there very cleanly. and you're good to go. So that is the Scythe Factory box organizer from Meeple Realty. Um, this is the little label that you'll have for it. So uh, this is the uh, all the information sheet that you'll have for it. But basically, uh, Meeple Realty usually just knocks it out of the park as far as their ingenuity is concerned and how much thought they put into not only uh, making sure that all of the different components are stored within the box, but doing so in such a thematic way to where it feels like you're actually peeling apart this game and you're actually storing your pieces inside the theme of the game. I am <clears throat> astounded by the different designs that they come up with and I am amazed at how well they store everything and how they continue to work well after you've put them together. <clears throat> now, with all of that being said, I love the product. The problem is putting the product together. Um, it takes patience. This game, as you can see, I'm wearing a different shirt than the one I was wearing uh, during the construction and during the intro to this video. And that's because this took a lot longer than I thought it would, I actually had to quit for the night. Now, the reason I had to quit for the night is because I had a game night schedule at the studio. So <laughs> I'm not saying that it's completely their fault, but I was not able to put this together in as little time as I thought I would be able to based upon 
other builds that I've done in the past. And this is not their most intricate design. So other uh, inserts organizers that they're going to um, uh, make available to you are going to be more difficult and take longer. So with that being said, just know what you're getting into if you purchase this. This is not something that you'll be able to slap together in just a couple of hours. Uh, it's going to take some time if you want to do it properly and correctly and where it looks good. So let's talk about some of the different parts of the box. First of all, this uh, tray right here, the where you store the mechs and the leaders and then all of the pieces underneath. This is by far the most difficult thing to put together because of the gears um, and so forth and so on. This tray that just holds the mechs uh, up top, the top part, this is another por portion down here. But this tray that holds the mechs without the gears and all of that kind of stuff, 26 pieces that have to be assembled. Uh, so that gives you the idea of what I'm talking about here. Uh, there are wooden dowels that go inside these little gears and everything like that. So uh, it really, it's, it's awesome when you're looking at it and it's there and it's holding everything. It looks great. And that's what I love about Meeple Realty. Their box organizers are not only efficient at organizing and storing the product. They are also, they look amazing. So that is that. But this is by far my favorite piece of the organizer, even though it was the most frustrating to put together. Um, this guy right here is cool as well. I like the lid. I like the fact that it holds uh, two uh, boxes instead of just one. And you have all of this put together. I was, at first, I didn't put the two together that this goes inside. I just, I had a mental block there for a moment. Uh, but, and I was worried, how is that going to keep these guys from falling around? Because if you just put the lid back on it, as you can see, there's that huge gap here. Those guys are going to be all over the place once you put that box away. Uh, but then I had an aha moment realize that that actually goes down inside there and it all fits very snugly. So um, I really enjoy this one as well. I think it's, again, I love the look of it. Um, and at the bottom of each of these trays actually has a silhouette of the piece that goes in there. So you never have to uh, worry about forgetting which part goes in which uh, holding area and so forth and so on. So that's a really cool thing as well. Um, this guy is where um, I, I have the least amount of liking for it. Now, I like that it holds all of the cards very well. And I like that these guys come out and go back in and so forth and so on. And there's another one over here as well. But there's not one here. And I've already had a spill where these cards uh, came out and I had to uh, pull them back up. Now, they, didn't, they don't come out in the box. So as far as storing the game, it does its job that way. But when you're pulling it out, putting it back in, you have to be very careful to hold it. At, at, uh, I usually just use this little barrier right here to hold it. And you can do that. But you have to be very careful to keep it tilted up so that these guys don't. I mean, if you watch, they, they'll, they'll slide right out. So this is the only one that it did that. And that's the only reason why I'm kind of, eh, oh, well, okay. It works in the box. You have to be careful pulling it out of the box. That's my one little thing about the, the whole thing. This right here seems, I mean, I guess it it's cool that it holds all of the, the, the tiles and so forth and so on, but this is the one part of the thing that I was like, well, that's not really necessary, but okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Um, but that's that. So really minor tidbits that I didn't like about this box. Uh, organizer, I, I really think they do an amazing job. Meeple Realty is giving Broken Token a run for their money, and you're starting to see the, the effect that that's having. Uh, Broken Token is starting to step up their game as far as uh, making new box inserts. I don't, I don't have any that are coming to my mind exactly, but just at Origins, seeing what they have available uh, now uh, as compared to what they did a couple of years ago, you can see a difference because they see that these other box organizer companies are starting to uh, give them some, some uh, competition, and that's cool. Meeple Realty um, is right now, I think, in their own little echelon because 
they put so much thought and ingenuity into every single box insert. It's an amazing thing. So I really like Scythe Factory with the caveat being that you need to understand that this is not just a regular uh, Joe Blow run of the mill uh, put together you're going to do here. This is going to take some time. It's going to take some effort, going to take some patience. But at the end, you're going to have a product that is amazingly cool and uh, will efficiently store all of your components well. Another thing, I know some of you, uh, this is big for you, there is plenty of room here for sleeving your cards. And that's a big thing for a lot of you. A lot of you sleeve your cards, so I did want to mention that. As you can see, these decks that go in here, there's, there's, they're, they're only using about half the space that's there. So I think there's plenty of room for sleeving your cards in all of these guys, so that is worthy of note. So that is Scythe Factory. I'm gonna give this one two thumbs way up, even though it's a little bit difficult to build. Uh, your finished product, you feel like you've accomplished something, and it looks great. So we'll see you guys on the flip side.